This is the story of Emma. Emma was 16 years old in 2013. She was elegantly beautiful and all the boys in the neighborhood wanted to be with her. They tried all they could, but Uma was only interested in Emeka. Both of them had deep affection for each other and were ready to do anything to maintain the relationship. They went everywhere and did everything together. Their relationship was too strong to be hidden, as everyone knew and talked about them. However, Life began when Emma got pregnant. She and Emeka were still very young and were not mentally ready to become parents. They also did not want anyone, including their parents, to know about the pregnancy for fear of stigmatization and blames. So they traveled to a far town to meet a local chemist who agreed to help them. The chemist gave Emma some drugs, which she took and the pregnancy was aborted. They were both happy and continued their love life. As the years passed by, their values changed and they separated after some disagreements. Fast forward to 2020, Emma got married to Chinedu, a young man from her town. However, she did not share her past with anyone, including her husband, Chinedu. In 2022, she got pregnant by Chinedu, but lost the baby after 15 weeks. After a few months, she got pregnant again, but nine months later, she had a stillbirth, meaning the baby was born already dead. Worried by these experiences, Mma and Chinedu decided to visit an obstetrician, a doctor who specializes in pregnancy and childbirth. From the blood test, it was confirmed that Mma is O negative. The O means her blood belongs to group O or type O, while the negative or minus means her blood lacks the resource factor. Now, here are some facts. Every one of us belongs to one of these eight blood groups. A positive or A negative, B positive or B negative, AB positive or AB negative, O positive or O negative. So, you belong to one of these blood groups and you can confirm these by going for a blood group test in a hospital, if you have not already done so. Those that have a plus or positive sign attached to their blood group have a protein commonly called resource factor in their blood, while those with a minus or negative sign lack the resource factor. If a woman who is resource negative is exposed to blood that is resource positive. Her blood will see it as foreign and will begin to produce antibodies or soldiers ready to get rid of the resource positive blood and whatever brought it. So if a woman who is resource negative unites with a man who is resource positive, she can conceive a baby who is also resource positive like the father. By the time the baby's resus positive blood makes contact with her resus negative blood, her blood will begin to produce antibodies to attack the baby. The production of antibodies takes a long time, so that first baby is usually safe from the attack. However, before the next pregnancy, these antibodies would have been fully formed, and if the baby also happens to be resource positive like the first. These antibodies will pass through the placenta to attack and destroy the red blood cells of the baby, leading to the death of the baby or miscarriage. So my dear viewer, 
This is exactly what happened to Mma. She is racist negative, and Emeka, her first love, is racist positive. The baby she aborted was racist positive. Unfortunately, before or during the abortion, the baby's blood had already mixed with hers, and unknowingly, she started producing antibodies for the next child. The two pregnancies from Chinedu also came with racist positive babies that were successfully destroyed by her antibodies. Due to lack of knowledge, a lot of young persons have had similar experiences in the past, and it can still happen to anyone. So, to prevent what happened to Umba, you should do the following. 1. Know your blood group. You can do this by simply visiting a good hospital near you. 2. Find out if you're resource positive or resource negative. You can know this from the sign attached to your blood group. Example, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, and O negative. If you are pregnant, register in a reputable hospital. If you are resource negative, you will be given an injection called Rogan, usually around the 28th week of pregnancy and within 72 hours after delivery if your baby happens to be resource positive. If you have a miscarriage or induced abortion, you will also be given this injection within three days of the exposure. This injection will prevent your body from forming antibodies against your unborn resource positive babies. If you have any questions, contributions, or doubts, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for good videos in future. Thank you.